Hey everybody, big welcome back. Tonight I wanted to address the Canadian drone laws, just kind of make some clear th things basically for everyone to understand. Um, and it's very important that when I'm speaking of these laws, you understand that we are in Canada. So American laws, European laws, South African laws, uh, you know, China laws, none of those matter. It's all about the Canadian laws for this video. And I'm going to apologize because odds are when I go through these laws with you, you're going to get pissed off because your country has more strict laws than Canada. So um, I'll like to say that uh, the transport ma minister in Canada is Mark Garneau. He's a former astronaut. Um, I don't know much about him. However, in the past, he had put some very unfair rules on drones which, you know, basically is why I had stopped flying for a couple of years or give or take a few months on that. But um, then they decided to change the laws and make a different set of laws for drones under 250 grams. And for the last several months or year or whatever, the, the new laws were kind of up in the air and uh, there were real no real defined laws. Um, it just said that it's, you know, a separate thing than a larger drone but recently the government came out with the uh, the actual rules and I wanted to address these with you and in doing so I'll point out that you guys can see in the video that um, we've got here just a little kind of a cheat sheet here um, some information for you to read there it's um, basically telling you that you can't put people or aircraft in uh, in danger. That's the main thing. And then you got to be respectful of privacy and trespassing laws. And then you'll notice it says you should. You can't be charged with you should, just to be clear. Um, things in the law have to have codes. And I've addressed this in the past. Uh, but so here you're going to kind of read over. And this is right off the Government of Canada website. So we're going to click over here and we're going to go to the under 250 grams section. And we're going to go look. So micro drones are drones weighing less than 250 grams. Wait, the, okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we know that it's under 250 grams. Micro drones don't need to be registered or have a pilot certificate. Um, and we're not bound by the same requirements as other drones. However, you must not operate it in a reckless or negligent manner as to endanger or likely to be in to endanger aviation safety or the safety of anyone. So, and then it says, goes on and says, well, there's no prescriptive elements of the regulations. There's an expectation that you're going to, you know, you're going to use good judgment and fly safe. And then we've got, you know, some good practice. So, like, basically, you should try to keep your drone in a direct line of sight. You shouldn't really fly your drone above 400 feet. And you should keep a good distance between you and bystanders. And you shouldn't fly near airports, heliports, and water drone. Uh, you shouldn't be flying near critical infrastructure. And you shouldn't be flying near aircrafts at all times. And, of course, you should do an inspection. And, uh, you know, keep, keep it close enough you can keep control. You should avoid flying over advertised events, basically carnivals, parades, whatever. Um, and then it goes on to say that if you basically, if you fly in a unsafe manner, you could face a drone, which for an individual is up to a thousand or face a drone. You should could face a fine rather up to a thousand dollars. Um, and then here's the ones though that actually matter. You can't fly in class F airspace, which is probably like over the prime minister's house. Um, air, so, uh, around forest fires for obvious reasons. And then, um, so ultimately, basically, I don't, I'm trying to put this nicely for the people that don't understand. And the reason I'm bringing this up is that a lot of times on my drone videos, I get a lot of people messaging saying, you can't do this, you can't do that, this is illegal. And most of the people that do that are referencing FAA code um, or regulations. But being that we are in Canada, 
not um, USA. I just, it, it doesn't matter to me. Ultimately, they've put the onus of flying responsibly on the pilot. The government's kind of stood back and just said, you know what? We're going to give you guys a bit of freedom here. Here's some basics that you should try to follow, but you're going to be able to use your judgment. If you want to fly above 400 feet, it is not illegal, but it will be if something happens. If you interfere with an aircraft or, well, I guess that's really all that could happen above 400 feet that would be an issue. Um, they're saying that, you know, we're going to let you fly downtown. That flight at the beginning of the video, that is in downtown in Hamilton, Ontario. They're going to let you do that. And they're basically just assuming you're going to do so safely. However, if something goes wrong, you can be held accountable. And I'm actually going to commend the Canadian government on giving the freedom to the sub 250 gram drones to actually get out there and explore. Now, I'm not saying that people should be out flying recklessly. I've already got it in emails confirmed that you can fly within the five kilometers of an airport. They already said that. They said just fly at a low altitude and you'll be fine. Um, already had verified with them. And this is going back several months ago that uh, you could fly out of line of sight. They don't recommend it, but you should be aware of where your drone is at all times. And so when I get people and they, they message me and they're like, oh, you shouldn't put this on YouTube. It's promoting bad behavior. What bad behavior? It's completely legal. And I like to use the example of if all of a sudden you found out that the law for the speed limit on the highway was 100 miles an hour or 100 kilometers an hour, whatever you want, except for blue Mazda Miatas. Blue Mazda Miatas, for whatever reason, are left out of there. They gave you some freedom and they said, you know what, you got a blue Mazda Miata, you, you know, you should try to stick around the speed limit. You know, you should try not to zip in and out of lanes. But if you do, it's cool as long as nothing goes wrong. If something goes wrong, you're going to be charged for reckless driving. But if nothing goes wrong, it's okay. You know, we, uh, you know we're allowing Blue Mazda Miatas to go as fast as they want. That is essentially what's happened here. And I'm actually right now very thankful for, the, for Mark Garneau, who I've been a pretty big critic of. Um, for various things, um, mostly for his drone laws that were really stupid. A couple of years ago, he said you couldn't get like within a million miles of a of an animal, couldn't fly within 600 miles of a house. Obviously, I'm exaggerating, but he had put these crazy rules out there. And now we have the freedom to actually get out and make some videos and do it safely. And, I, and I, I've had people that say shit about my videos over the years, about they find them not safe. But in all reality, I feel fine with the videos I upload. I've never put anyone at risk. I've never, I don't fly around people. I don't uh, invade people's privacy. Although I did have a video I posted about an angry Karen throwing a rock at my drone while I was flying at, you know, at a, a peak out in Ancaster. But then it begs the question, so does she have more rights to that particular cliff than me? Like, yeah, I just happened upon them, right? I wasn't looking for them per se, uh, but we have equal rights to the park. Um, I generally don't try to bother people. Um, I normally go away from people. I, I choose not to fly around people. I don't, uh, I, the last thing I need is people walking over to me while I'm flying and, and it happens. I don't get mad or anything, but I much prefer to focus on my my task at hand than deal with people. Anyway, I don't want to drag this on forever and ever. I just wanted to dispel the myth that American law applies in Canada, because it absolutely does not. This is right from the government website. If you don't believe me, just go ahead and Google Canada Drone Law Sub 249 Gram. And when you do that, you're going to get the link to the page I'm putting on right here. And, and as I did that, my stupid phone picked up me talking to Google and just gave me the results. So that was stupid. Anyway, um, go ahead, check it out, familiarize yourself with what I'm explaining to you. And I want to 100% unequivocally you know, explain that I am not saying go fly when you want, how you want, where you want, and 
be all carefree on the rules. I'm saying that if you have to get that shot downtown or, or you know, whatever, whatever the shot is, or for whatever reason, you want to pop your drone up and get a, a quick clip, at, you know, a thousand feet. Be careful. That's all I got to say. You know what I mean? If you do your due diligence before you pop it up to a thousand feet, go on UAV or uh, sorry, on uh, flight tracker and see if there's any airplanes in the area. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, be smart with it. Anytime that I've put my drone up above the 400 feet, I first of all, I check that. I make sure that there's nothing showing. And the other thing you'll notice is that I generally keep the drone like right above my head. I don't go flying four kilometers away and then put it up. I keep it above me so that I can be listening for the airplane in the distance. You know what I mean? So you, if you got your your drone four kilometers away or five kilometers away and it's flying around at 1,500 feet, you can't really say what's going to happen over there. So I just want to say be smart, fly safe, but out, don't be don't be afraid to get out there and spread your wings and fly or propellers uh, blades as it may be. But uh, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little educational lesson. And right now, I'm going to, I want to take this chance to apologize to my American friends, my Hindu friends, my Zimbabwean friends, my Australian friends, uh, my Korean friends, North and South. Um, actually, I don't have friends really from any of those places at all, but I am sorry to the rest of the world that has FAA style laws that prevent you from getting out there and actually having some fun with your drone. I'm sorry, write your Congress or do whatever you want, move to Canada, solve that problem. Also, I'm going to quickly give a shout out because, um, there's a fellow YouTuber, he doesn't have a big channel, but he's got a very, very entertaining channel. He's called Philly Drone Life. Um, found him, uh, maybe a month ago, a few weeks ago, whatever it was. And he's actually landed himself an $182,000 drone, or fine, for flying his drone. Um, and that's fined by the FAA. And it's an interesting thing surrounding it. I hope everything works out well for him. I enjoy his content. I'm going to warn you, if you go check him out, he's a little out there. You know what I mean? He's got, uh, but I dig it. He's a little on the wild side, but he's cool. I enjoy his videos. So I'm going to suggest that you guys check him out and find out about his, I'm not going to give you all the details, go check out his page, learn about it, he does live streams, everything like that. Philly, I'm sorry that you live in USA where they're coming down hard on you. When you sort it all out, come move to Canada and you can go and make uh, awesome videos. And uh, same with everyone else, uh, like, you know, I watch this guy Miles deep down in Florida, I know he ran into some trouble with the FAA. Um, I watch, uh, uh, Kate and, uh, or what is that? Nate and Kara. Uh, there's some people that live in their van and travel the world and all that. People dime them out to the FAA. And I'm sorry everyone's going through that. I wish it wasn't like that. We should be able to get out there and safely enjoy our drones. But anyway, sorry for all the rambling on. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more. I will, uh, Put a bunch more videos up obviously i'm out here enjoying my drone and my buddy homeless tony's out flying his too so we're gonna get some footage from him soon and uh fly safe guys that's the most important thing as long as in your heart whatever you're doing you know that you're flying safe that's all that matters don't worry about what other people think or what other people say get out there and enjoy the skies they're there for all of us see you guys